Okay, now I want to move on to flaw slash descriptive weakening questions. And uh, like I already mentioned in method of reasoning questions, these questions are also descriptive. The correct answer choice, instead of engaging with the argument in the way that weakening strengthening questions do, these correct answer choices, rather like method of reasoning questions, describe, describe the reasoning in the argument. Okay, so once again, in the stimulus, you're going to be given a premise, an argument, a premise that supports a conclusion. And here, actually, I should say, I should use the word support in quotations because what distinguishes flawed descriptive weakening from your, you know, method of reasoning questions that we've, we've already done is that there really isn't much of a support going on. Okay, be, be, I mean, and that's the flaw or that's where we're asked to describe the argument as weak. Okay, so if you're wondering why there are two names for this type of question, it's because what I'm actually doing is I'm actually lumping together two very similar question types into one. Some types of reasoning are characterized at, by the LSAC as flawed reasoning, right? Others are not flawed reasoning, but they are weak, and we can descriptively exploit that weakness by just descript, describing the, where the reasoning is weak. Okay, so another way to think about that is that of the entire set of arguments that are weak, only a subset can be called flaws. Okay, so like I mentioned, in this type of question, the correct answer choice is just like in method of reasoning, looking down from on high, so to speak, at the reasoning structure in the argument and describing why this doesn't work so well. Now, you still have to pass that descriptive accuracy test, which we encountered and applied when we did method of reasoning. When we eliminated wrong answers in method of reasoning, it was on this. We said answer choice C, sorry, you're wrong, because you failed to describe the argument properly, correctly, rather. Right? You just you're just saying something that's not true about the argument. Right? It's not descriptively true, it's not descriptively accurate, in other words. So this is still the case here when we do flaw. The correct answer choice has to be descriptively accurate. Okay, the additional complication is that you actually have to be describing the flaw or the weakness in the argument. See, when they tell us that you're in a flawed descriptive weakening question, they're telling us there's something not right about the support structure. So yes, you do have to say true things about the argument overall, but that's not enough because you also have to say the reason why this premise or these premises don't support the conclusion. You're going to see a lot of wrong answer choices in this type of question that merely pass this step of the test, but fail this step of the test. Okay, so remember for flawed descriptive weakening, in comparison to method of reasoning, you're adding an additional step. Not only do you just you have to describe the argument correctly, of course you have to do that, but you also have to make sure the description is pinpointed to the flaw, right, or to the weakness of the argument. Okay, so we'll see that worked out when we look at real questions, and I'll point out answers that merely pass step one but fail step two of the test, right? And we'll, we'll contrast those answers with the correct answer, which pass both steps of the test. Uh, before we do, I just want to reiterate a couple points that I already made in method of reasoning, which I think are really important here. Just like in method of reasoning, because we're still in descriptive territory, the outside writers are giving you the keys to logical reasoning here. They're giving you the cookie cutters of how they stamp out bad arguments, weak arguments, flawed even arguments. Okay, they're giving you the keys, the, the cookie cutters in the answer choices. You really need to study the wrong answers and the right answer, just like we did with method of reasoning, because, you know, the wrong answer for this question, yeah, that's going to be the right answer for the next question. Okay, so with that, let's take a look at some actual flawed descriptive weakening questions.